Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about where do you start when you first get a fighting game? And I'm not talking about for people who've played the genre before who can do special moves. I'm talking about people with zero experience. Like doing a Hadouken is a, a chore. Doing a combo is, is a myth to them. Where do those people start? I feel oftentimes we tend to overlook just the very beginning of the journey of getting a game that we have no clue what's going on and trying to learn it from scratch. And oftentimes when we give advice to new players, it's based on like the idea that they know how to do like basic things. When in fact, most people can't do those basic things. It's hard for most people. So where do we start, right? You just got the game from your local GameStop or from PSN. Where, where do we begin? Contrary to people's beliefs, I think you should start with story or arcade mode. With story mode, you will get certain characters, you know, to progress the story of the game. And then during that time, you'll be fighting different AI opponents. During this time, you can just pause, look at the command list, press your buttons. There's six buttons for most characters in most fighting games. Some have less. You can just see what your character does and get a feel for actually pressing buttons and, and doing things. Arcade is a little bit more of a controlled experience. While you don't know what characters you're going to fight against, you can pick whatever character you want. So I would suggest picking five characters you think look cool and just see what they do. Press their buttons, look at the command list, and go from there. See who you like the most. After playing around with some buttons, learning how to move, just getting used to the game in general, finding a character you like, that's when you should start to move to training mode. So you can start trying to practice special moves and understanding what your buttons and these moves are used for. When it comes to learning how to do your special moves in these games, don't try to rush it. Do them as slow as possible for your, like when you're starting out. Increase the speed as you're going along. Don't try to just mash out everything. When you're mashing stuff out, a lot of misinputs happening. You might start getting jump jab. You might start getting jump back whatever button. Just do it as slow as possible. Don't You don't have to rush. You're not racing against anyone. Be aware, learning how to do special moves usually is a process. You might not be able to get that for the first time you play. It might take you two or three days, maybe even a week to learn how to just do a Hadouken. Just stay with it. Like It's all part of the process. I really can't stress learning what your character can do enough. Like. Press the buttons on your stick and just look at each move. Just see what your character can do. Most people, when they learn a fighting game or they're first picking it up, they'll find a button on their controller and they're like, oh, I like this one. This is really fast. And they'll keep pressing it. In fighting games, it's very important to understand what your character can do. You need to know what you can do and in what situations. At the very beginning, you're probably not going to be able to grasp this concept like very easily. But it's better than just pressing jab when your opponent is like, 30 feet away from you. If you're getting bored of training mode, you want to take a break, but you still want to get some information, I suggest going search on YouTube. YouTube has a lot of different guides. You can look up how to play a character. You can look up how to play the game, just basics on the game. Whatever you want to look up, you probably can find it on YouTube. Maybe the first thing you should research is actually fighting game terminology so you can understand what people are saying in these videos. People are going to use terms that you're not familiar with, like frame trap, frame data, links, cancels, and all these things are very important to learn fighting games. Once you're more comfortable with your character, special moves, all that, just the game in general, then I would say proceed to trials. Trials are kind of difficult in the beginning because some games won't tell you if something is a link, they won't tell you if something is a chain, and all this stuff that I'm saying right now probably doesn't mean anything to you. but it's going to be pretty hard at the beginning. Just remember like from doing special moves or trying to learn special moves, take things slow, speed it up. If you need to, don't be in a rush to do any of this stuff. Just take it at your own pace. I pretty much made this video because at the time of recording, there's an AT&T tournament going on where people are trying to play street Fighter five. It's like bigger creators. And a lot of people are trying to teach people how to play fighting games, but they're not putting themselves in the shoes of a, zero experience player. They're putting themselves in the shoes of somebody who's been there and not everybody has been there. So yeah. And that pretty much does it for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, 
If you have any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.